The Minister of Interior, Comrade Abbon Moru, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Mrs. Fatima Bamidele, advised all security agencies to work as a team in order to deliver the expected result in the interest of the people. She also advised the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps to continue with work of defending civilians. I would also like to st stress the issue of partnership with other security agencies who are charged with almost the same responsibilities as you are. As we cannot fight a lot, a lot of these ills alone as an agency, we have to partnership with them. I'm also happy that we are partnershiping already. Bamidele in the same brief called on the officers of the COP to avoid any act of corruption while discharging their duties. The policy direction of uh, Mr. President, just like the CG said, one is for zero tolerance for corruption. So please, in the discharge of our duties as members of the core, continue to still emphasize this and preach this within the society. Please continue to do this job for your country as best as you can. Professionalism should be the key word for the civil defense. Speaking earlier, the Commandant General of Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Dr. Ade Obolorin, apologized to the Nigerian Union of Journalists on what happened to one journalist who was manhandled by an officer of the Corps, announcing the readiness of the Corps to tackle the issue of vandalism and oil theft as well as applying peaceful alternative in resolving crisis. To be able to understand the problem and see how we can uh, initiate uh, peace building, peace molding with a view to resolving the crisis rather than to use gun. Because if you continue to use gun, destruction of persons, destruction of property, which over time may not uh, be able to easily be replaced will be the order of the day. So recorded that somebody has been sentenced for 25 years. If we send a signal down to vandals that, well, don't try civil defense, it is not a place you can go and it is a no-go area. In the area of telecommunication, we are also involved in the protection of the critical assets. And uh, by now, we are meeting with stakeholders. The office of the NSA has been playing a very Meanwhile, the NSCDC has called on the federal government to provide jets for the effective surveillance of the country by the COP. Al Hassan Bala, ITV News, Abuja.